It's easy to miss, Pedro. <laughs> yeah. It just obscures the whole screen and goes. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia. I'll be switching the bits, piloting the SS Nightmare Train, joined every week by one Jordan Swang up in partially flooded Torontosville and uh, staying up late. Past his bedtime, it's his regular jolly old Mary Britannia. Hello. One Pedro <laughs> Mateus, and together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, what's up? What's new? Where are we at with, um... Don't you, don't you appreciate just a good evil every now and then? Like when... Sometimes. <laughs> even when you see a company that you hate, you're just like... That's so, yeah, I feel like Mojo Jojo, right? I was like, that's so evil. Oh. You, 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 you can, you can, res sometimes you can respect evil, right? You're, you're right. You, 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 something like that's fucked up, but it's ingenious, but it's incredibly fucked up. There's a bit of that, like, damn, but also like, damn. Right. Staying in character, I guess uh, that helps. <laughs> that happened this week it was something that I'm completely disinterested in. But once I found out a little bit of the background about it. I'm like, that's evil even for you, man. I think you've achieved unlock like a new level of evil. And of course, I'm talking about Modern Warfare Remastered mod, H2M, getting shut down by Activision. How do we say it now? It's Microsoft mode, right? It's Ma Mac Dublision. Mac, yeah, right? <laughs> Mike Dublision? Dude. Mike Dublision, yeah. <laughs> this team's been working for like a year to like get uh, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer like back how it used to be back in the day i've watched a couple of things on they put in tons of work new models and all this trying to make it like back in the good old days everybody was really excited about this and they've been working on it publicly they were getting ready to re release it guess what this entire time people have just been buying copies of modern warfare just getting ready for it like this is a big thing it's outside of our wheelhouse we don't pay attention to this uh but the day before release activision sends them a cdc <laughs> and they say thanks for all the extra sales peace see when break you said up. evil break them up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i thought you were going to bring up the disney thing but uh no no that, that oh, that's the, perfectly the, the, in keeping the the, 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 <laughs> the disney thing is like another level of fucked up it's like ah you can't sue us because you signed up for a, a for a yes you, you signed you, up for, for disney plus so yeah, you can't sue plus. us <laughs> on topic themed Activision, like, damn. That, no, that, that, that's that, perfectly in keeping with the Activision, I remember, yes. I, yes. I, I, I just, I have truly envisioned, like, sitting here, like, mustaches and shit, dude, right? Like, what's up, that's like, like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, fucking start charging those CODs back and stop buying Microsoft games, you guys. That's what a lot of people were saying. They're like, you're going to be smashing that refund button because a not insignificant amount of people like went out and bought this because they were very excited, you know, because this for, is a nostalgia thing, Warfare. right? Yeah. And they wanted to get that back and out. Activision's like, that, that fucks with our business model. Because we Next year, though, Modern Warfare 2 oh, remastered right, right. with more <laughs> NFTs right. and microtransactions, there we right? Go. <laughs> Jenkins, you're Jenkins this week. You're hired. Li li yeah, like, th it's exactly what they fucking did with the uh, private World of Warcraft servers, right? They're like, yes. oh, we're going to fucking kill them. But now, oh look, we'll give you the opportunity. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they have they have the they have the one move. They like it. Yeah, you know well, they were doing that for people's safety. Jordan, you got to understand. Oh yeah, I know they're 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 looking out for my best Active interest. Collision. Um, Ma making sure I never play Call of Duty. Thanks, Microsoft. <sighs> I, I've never played, you know. But yeah, that always sucks. Also, fair warning: things might get a little crazy during the show because my micro switch, you know, the micro switch, the little things that makes the little clicky noises when you click on them. Exactly. Yeah, they go bad. Why? Because like you would think the one thing that you should never cheap out on if you're manufacturing a mouse and or a gerbil would be the thing you wish to interact with. Fuck no. Logitech's like <laughs> bottom of the barrel, baby. Bottom of the barrel. And this uh this is my Elcom, which is a Japanese made trackball, like it's imported from Japan. They started doing that with their switches too. Used to be they used a Japanese manufactured version of the switch that would last for infinity but they've been using these chinese ones um manufactured in china that have like a one-year life cycle so i've like had to order place i don't have to tear this thing apart man it just it just frustrates me 
I'm just, I just wanted to say that and put that out there. If you're frustrated, no, it, let me know. Like, cause well, once upon a time you would buy a peripheral and like, you would expect to use it for a couple how, years, right? Dude, like, dude, think about how, yeah. how many Microsoft mouses from the nineties are still around. Yeah. So click and find. Absolutely. Th- that's what drives me up the wall is like the technologies here. People like we've had this for, you know, 20, 30 years. It's just cheap enough. And what would normally happen with this? What would normally happen with a trackball like this or just a mouse? You toss it and you could buy another one in the landfill. When, you know, I've already figured out how to get back into it and the module, I can desolder it and all that, but nobody's going to do that. And it just pisses me off. Rawr, a Haiti waste. Uh, <laughs> what's going on with you, Pedro Mateus? Anything new? Anything exciting this week happened in Britannia that you were like, oh, no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, I actually got the um because i um quake con was this week and um bethesda was doing the uh the sale of it was like every bethesda title okay. uh so i bought the the one skyrim thing that i didn't have which was the anniversary edition which was on it, it was like eight pounds or something so I it's like i never believe played. this is a fair question to ask clarify which one that is <laughs> it's it's the very latest one <laughs> is that the no. one with the like two of their own mods and like 90 percent user community yes. okay i have that one. yes because <laughs> like because like i i I've, I've genuinely wondered this like i have my original copy of skyrim that i bought is there literally any reason for me to buy another copy of it i'll tell you jordan i bought it when it was 1999 <laughs> on day one because i'm like i gotta see what this is all about because i freakishly just in you know skyrim's not a typical type of game that i play and i for whatever reason i enjoyed it i loaded it up and i'm like eh. but that was it and I, there's uh yeah there's the um, creation or the paid and i guess content. i should say like we've all seen like the nice looking like mod stacks and people have done made it did not look anything like those no, it doesn't have, uh, like, visual-wise, it has a little bit more bloom here and there, but that's about it. So, it, so, so the, the, the answer I'm hearing is no. Not really. The, the, the thing that it comes with are the paid mods that they have in the newer version of Skyrim, the Creation Club. The, if you buy the Anniversary Edition bit, it comes with a bunch of creations included for free, quote-unquote. That's what you're actually buying. And I had never played any of them, so it's like, okay, that's free. I'll just download it, and I'll do... I haven't played Skyrim in years. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Since 2011-ish? Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I tapped out, like, right when they added the houses. And I, I still remember when I loaded that Enhanced Edition, I, like, spun around. I'm like, I was up to something here. Oh, well, bye. <laughs> Jordan Swing, what's going on with you, buddy? Uh, well, I made some, some, several, several, uh, not nature related discoveries this week involving, uh, shark canos and yeah. that they, they exist. They're real. And when, when volcanoes explode, sometimes you can find sharks in the, in the, in the caldera. Um, when, when they're, when, when they're underwater, not when they're above land, they need the mech suits for that. <laughs> and, uh, Don't give on, them only, ideas. On, on, only we, 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 I learned about the poor beagle sharks. As opposed to the rich beagle sharks, the rich beagle <laughs> sharks can afford the mech suits. The poor beagle sharks cannot. I heard that you even won a round on the slot machine. I did. <laughs> I was. So we went grocery shopping today. It was raining very heavily. There's a comic book store across the way. I decided I'm going to go in. And now that I'm back in the Magic Gathering, I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy Mystery Booster. Didn't you play and some Magic on Thursday? I did play a little bit of Magic on did Thursday. Did you like it? Was it around? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've been playing Arena on in my uh, private time. Uh, a bunch. I figured uh, I would wanted to take a break from uh, from Outer Worlds and do an easy stream. So play right. some Magic Gathering. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what, Pedro? I'm coming to agree with you. The the murder on um, or the uh, the murder mystery one is not uh, not very very good. There's a lot of no. run there to do this. <laughs> and a Gorgon the, the, is spectacular, like the um, yeah I, that I, I, bit I, of I've DLC. Heard. But Eridanos is not. <laughs> yeah, but you you know you know what we got we got to eat our vegetables before we go we eat dessert. Um, so yeah, uh, I think next week. I, is there a good way Are to you deal with the, the fucking card up or not? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I right. I pulled the fucking card. I pulled the two hundred and twenty nine dollar <laughs> US mana crypt. All right. So nice. if I if I really wanted to, I could sell this, but I actually do kind of want this. You card, can lord so. it over other people who know about card values and be like, oh yeah. 
just well, casually I'm, pull it off. I'm, I'm, I'm just, ha- I'm happy. Like literally in like my entire career of playing Magic before I quit, and like now, I have never pulled anything worth more. When than you were like, driven out of the bucks. pro division unceremoniously. <laughs> ah, yeah. C- well, it's because c- of the doping, right? I was like <sighs> injecting cardboard, mm-hmm. and th- apparently you're not allowed to do that. The, oh, uh, yeah, okay, just I, unprocessed cellulose. Dude, if you, if you gave me like <laughs> Magic the Gathering, <laughs> like Arena East, I'd probably watch that though. Just, just, just to see how they produced it to try to right, spice yeah, yeah. it up, right? Yeah, ex- ex- exactly, right. Like we, we, we got, we got to, we got to really juice this up. Uh, but yeah. Um, I got a two hundred dollar card. That's neat. Um, nice. And and I saw I saw Twisters. You can hear my review of that in the pre pre super shows and light on the spoilers. Little light. <laughs> there was there's not much to spoil, honestly. Like, <laughs> well, I... hey, no, nothing really happens in the movie. <laughs> so. What would happen if we with the horse one v one a tornado? It, de- it depends. If it's one of the tornadoes from Twisters, I think it may be a whirlwind romance. It's the Steam Analytics update. Oh, three. And deadlock is a thing that we've brought up on more than one occasion. Hey, you know it happens. Yeah, uh, but uh, Valve has been very, very tight-lipped about the whole thing. Uh, everyone knows that it's coming. We've all seen the the leaked images, and, well, people are playing it. There's about 20-something thousand people playing it right now. That's uh, totally not and, the scout. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, totally no, no, not no, the no, scout. <laughs> or the sniper, for that the matter. The sniper. Snip, sniper, that's, yeah. that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> But yeah, no, it is, uh, the game is there and people apparently, as The Verge discovered, uh, can invite their friends because that functionality seems to be unrestricted. But you get a little message when you first start the game, which I says mean, it's uh, micro. It's easy to miss, Pedro. <laughs> yeah. It just obscures the whole screen and goes right there. It's like, this is an early development it's build. like 10 by 12 pixels. <laughs> A lot of temporary yeah. art and experimental gameplay. Do not share anything about the game with anyone. So what uh, does the Verge person do? Too. Immediately shares the entire game with their friends. So I, I like yeah, the, little, uh, the little screenshot of the message, too, because that's very cheeky. It's like, oh. Yeah, and he's trying to uh, play it. I was like, I just hit escape. I didn't agree to it. That's mm-hmm. not a, an agree message. That's a you read it message. Listen, all I'm hearing is you're jealous of his mad hacks. Yep. <laughs> I, you know, you know what, when I wish I was a hacker, a code cracker, a slacker. <laughs> Nine five, 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 yeah, hacker, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you probably, if you're watching this or listening to this, you probably already have it. Uh, so yeah, go try it out. I did try it out. It's uh, much like the original leaks that we got that I was looking. Okay, the time to kill on that is looking very um long. And yeah, it is very much a MOBA in that respect. The time to kill, even the, with the sniper lady. That, that. <laughs> and uh, no. Ab- they don't give you an option to limit the FPS in game. So, um, because I didn't want to fight the mouse sensitivity with game scope, I just used mango HUD. There, there'll be a uh, thing you can drop into the launch options on steam. Just limits it to 60. It's like, they're done. <laughs> Why do you always do things the hard way, Pedro? <laughs> Me, I, I run into this problem. What do I do? I tape one of my fans on my GPU. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't want to listen solved. because... <laughs> you, 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 you use tape, I just use spaghetti. Yeah, I mean, if it works. It's, it's a little more clean up, but yeah, you know, more organic with a skitty. <laughs> now, one thing you might learn if you get an invite... By the way, pa- Pedro's handing out invites by Candy. Like Candy, just hit him up. He'll hook you up. <laughs> one thing I learned on Debian 12 and uh, probably older distributions is that it launches, it runs, and then you try to get into a match, then it spite nopes to your desktop. You're like, fascinating what's going on <laughs> then you roll down through your proton you know a couple of proton versions and you're like well then i got to the point of going wait a minute maybe i need to be online maybe they didn't think about that because i'm always offline on steam i got online and it still crashed it was about that time i went over to proton db and I'm like well that's not there either uh, but fortunately the googles pointed me to a post on linux underscore gaming there'll be a link in the show notes because uh i was reminded about virtual memory and uh, I needed to go, oh, I need to bump that, which you do. By default on Debian, it's like 512 megs. Uh, you, 
on uh, on Fedora and Arch, it is sufficiently high that you won't get crashes. Nice. It's actually the same amount that they recommend on the uh, the Reddit post is the default on Fedora. So. Nice. So if you've been experiencing, like, you can load the game up, you can play around on the menus, and you start to load the game, and it just nopes out, that's going to be your problem. There'll be a link to uh, that post on Reddit in our show notes from that. And I did play around with it, you know, just in training I, I, mode. Yes, I Jordan we Swag. Did. We, we, we had a very similar reaction, didn't we? Well... I mean, I loaded it up, and I, I've never really played a MOBA shooter at all. Like, and I think that's, is that the right thing to call this, Pedro Mateus? A MOBA oh, yeah. shooter? All right. So I'm <laughs> on the right track here. I spent more time trying to figure out which character I wanted. Because, like, do people still do this? I'm like, this, this is a lot. I'm putting a ring on this. Like, this is going to be my character that I play. Are people still like that? Or just people like that in general? Maybe it's just a me thing. I'm like... I'm going to learn this one character, and it was pretty easy. I was scrolling, and I'm like, there's a sniper rifle done. My understanding is most people will have, like, And I'm going to be like characters. Satan in the uh, movie. Like, nobody can be the fucking crow. So nobody <laughs> else has to be the crow. Crow. <laughs> Yeah, well, and, 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 and that, that's why people generally have, like, a couple so that you don't have, like, a team of all snipers. You have a couple dudes that you know how to play. Um, yeah, it is it is definitely a first-person, or I guess it's third-person over-the-shoulder MOBA. Um, and yeah, I, I, too, perused the cast, and... You know, it, it is it is early days. Maybe we'll get a meet the style videos like we did with TF2, where they will attempt to give these characters some some character. But I guess for for now, they're all they're all just kind of defined by their roles. Yeah, for um, me, it was just like a list of people. I'm like, I don't know any of you. Then you know, I got in, I played around, and I understand the mechanics. It's got a train track at the top of the thing, and you got to take over. You know, part A, part B, and there's like weapon upgrades, skill upgrades. You got, uh, yeah, kill, you know, special kill, kill, abilities kill the, kill their ancients. that you can yeah. shoot out. And the sniper, I think, is, you know, I mean, it works. It's got zoom mechanics. And I'm like, I used to be really good with a sniper. And I'm like, dumbass, you have a trackball now. And I'm like, <laughs> right, I do. Um, but it's too late. I've already made my choice. So that's yeah, going to be my excuse for getting you're, wrecked. You're, you're, you're just going to suffer. Yeah. <laughs> yep. that, that's how you do. Um, no, but like, I, I don't know, it, it, it runs all right, and I think the, like, at, at, at this point, like, I, we need to, like, get, all get in the room and play it, and see what we actually think, because... We are when Valve is like, we, yeah, yeah, it, hey. and it, it, yeah, when, when, when they say it's cool, because we can do it privately. Valve here, we can, I, we can I be want an email from it, you, but... Valve, that says, if we do and we stream it, you'll, you'll ban the uh, Verge Rider again. Yeah. No, they, they're, <laughs> they're, they're gonna send you a self-addressed <laughs> postcard of a stamp from New Zealand. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh, 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 okay. No, Valve, send me a little trophy for streaming it. <laughs> yeah, get, get, they'll, get, they'll give you a Steam trading card. Yeah, like, <laughs> just send me the word, but like, thanks for streaming the game and like, <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Uh, weren't streamers actually uh, warning each other off from doing that? It's like, don't do that. <laughs> I was looking around and I, I found a game, I was looking for something to play tonight in the after shows, and, and uh, the game I found before, the one I picked up, I installed it, and I'm like, this looks cool, it's like medieval type uh, thing, and it, it's got a EULA, I read EULAs unless they're like all legal things, and I like scroll down through it real quick, and I'm looking at this thing, and it's like, attention streamers, like, we own everything in this, if you make it, we own it, you need to get our written express permission, we own this, by the way, we will come after you. Hmm. And I was like, you know what? Fuck your game. <laughs> Good luck with it in your early access. I'm not even going to tell people what the name is. Uh, let's move on to good news, everybody. Really? <laughs> well, maybe not good news for developers such as the ones you just used as an example, uh, because this is very much targeted at them. Changes are coming to store page written descriptions. That little bit in the middle of the store page where your game description should typically go. Uh, they say it affects specifically the about the game, the short description, the special announcements, and the awards section, because people were abusing the shit uh, out of said sections. A little bit. They were uh, linking uh, to other websites, uh, other stores, other store pages, even within Steam to other games. Uh, they were uh, effectively creating, like, widgets uh, of making it look like there was an official buy this game button in the middle of the uh, the about section. And Valve is like, no, sorry, you can't do that anymore. The URLs from those um, sections will be removed. They're going to go in and just remove all of them. 
So if you have a game on Steam, you and you find that uh, all of a sudden your about section is a little bit empty, uh, then you you know why that is now. Uh, and they they have uh, some FAQs which are on point. <laughs> they bring up the prologues, which I think is a very good point. Uh, and uh, we're probably going to be talking about this in the uh, hate mail. But the uh, prologues before demos were really a thing. There were a lot of people releasing prologues and Valve is like, okay, prologues are cool, but you cannot mislead people the way you've been doing and you cannot use your prologue page to actively promote other games that you or your publisher have released. That store page is for that game or that prologue. You, know, you might be that asking is. yourself, you're like, how bad did it get? It got bad enough to where Valve is doing something. Mm. And comprehensively at that. <laughs> Valve yeah. has been taking a very like lockdown of like, maybe there's somebody new that I got hired at Valve. Like, let's just go ahead and cut all the loopholes out and stop all the like, because you know what's going to happen. Everyone's going to try to find a way around this. And, mm. you know, I, the thing that hit me, I think, Pedro, you put that in the notes is, hey, new game early access coming soon by the way here's a link to the game that i have on epic early access yeah i'm like yeah no can't link those there anymore no <laughs> not not anymore i i also agree with the the whole uh, uh the whole prologue thing because it's like yeah demo we, we there are demos now steam demo hub exists if you want to like have the first chapter of your game cut a demo mm -hmm. and use use that to promote it as opposed to making an entirely separate game and blah blah Mm -hmm. I think I think I think I think overall this is this is a good move. Honestly. It is. I think this is Valve saying, "Hey, man, treat your store page as your store page, not your MySpace page." Yeah. If you, mm -hmm. you, you th this is what your website is for, you can. Although I will your... allow auto playing MIDI and maybe glitter. Let's bring back the <laughs> glitter. We 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 need we need more marquee tags. Bring mm -hmm. them back. It's uh, one thing that struck me is like one of the things was you know can I still link to my so uh, media accounts and they're like, not just on your page. We have an entire field for that. Right over here, where you're supposed to put it. Like, I, that's, that strikes me as an odd problem. I didn't realize that was so much of an issue. Oh, uh, here's people the were thing. putting like those pictures with the follow us on Facebook or follow us yeah. on X. Okay, so that's buttons. what I was going to ask. It was like, hey, yeah. get into our Discord. I'm like, ooh, where does the Discord link go? Uh, I guess it goes where it, it should go. It goes in now. the custom website links that you can have on that very same section down the side <laughs> it, 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 it is specifically for that so that yes. all, it's all in the same place for everyone yeah well i found that incredibly helpful jordan i'm glad you did <laughs> and are, are you gonna mark that review as helpful or no are you just i'm gonna too tell busy me to like off? rubbing myself over that smooth segue <laughs> yeah uh well uh we talked about it last week and it is official now uh they are releasing the new uh update to review systems uh where they want to uh promote helpful reviews that are on topic and are not trolls um right now their main target is they're going after things that are like very clearly troll reviews uh they're using a mix of human and algorithm review for now um but you can go back to the old system if you want there's a little uh there's a little tick box that says you can uh go back to the old review system uh and you know marking reviews as helpful does impact it uh, to some degree, but mostly it is about whether or not a human or the algorithm has flagged your review as helpful or not. Uh, and they're saying that, like, uh, even even if they are not being filtered out as helpful, they do still contribute to the game's overall score on Steam because they say, you know, even if your review is a joke, you left a positive or a negative review for a reason ostensibly. So we're going to we're going to include it as a data point. Uh, we're just not going to specifically have your review be featured. So again, I think I think it's a, I think it's another good idea. It makes the reviews actually more useful in terms of telling people whether or not they should buy the game by fucking explaining what the game actually is about. Yeah, it shows yeah. up under review type when it's available. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> your your game's not magic. I was led to. Ah, yeah, that, that, that's, it that's is because uh, they're all helpful reviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is, I like the tick box. I genuinely like them giving the ability. It's like, okay, you have a tick box. You can filter those out or you can just not filter those out. I fully 100% understand if they do make that the default going forward, as in you only see the helpful uh, reviews by default. But I'd like that tick box to stay there or just give me a link to 
Just show me all of the unhelpful reviews, please, because I like to read the shit posts. Yeah, 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 just have a dedicated shit post section in yeah. the review yeah. section. Uh, based on what I've read in Reddit, people seem to be fairly okay with this change. Yeah, I mean, it does, uh, yeah. it cleans things up if you're somebody, because, hey, listen, I don't think a lot of us, we don't weigh reviews a whole lot. No, they don't influence maybe like maybe 5 or 10% of your purchasing decision. It's more of like, Eh, or, or, or are these people talking about like stuff that I would have a problem with or not? And like, how much mm. am I going to weigh that in? And, you know, I was trying to get, I tried to pull up like call of dude bros and I'm still not getting it on my account. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I have seen the screenshots and that does a good job of getting rid of, of what you would normally expect. You know, the ASCII art and the uh, clown emoji and, you know, like whatever. It's good. I like it. I've never saw it as a huge problem. Because I am that nihilist that always goes to the reviews and sorts by negative because I just want to know what's wrong with the game because I've already got it in my head that I want to play the game. I'm like, I, I've already got my positive stuff together. And I was yeah, like, I, 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 I don't, I'm not even sure if that's nihilism. That's just like good review literacy because like, yeah, you, you don't, you don't want to just read the shit of like people sucking off the product. You want to know like what? Are there problems with it? What are people saying? Because sometimes those negative reviews, like Amazon, they're just like, I tried plugging this DVD into my toaster and it didn't play a movie. I'm very upset. One star. <laughs> and, you know, some sometimes... Uh, All I'm hearing is the world needs a DVD toaster combo. It's the video. It's the Amiga video toaster, right? That's what it does. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for our Steam News this week. Let's talk about a couple of new games that came out, starting with uh, Murder Kayak. Delta Kayak. Yeah. It is a game in which you explore and uh, you uh, kayak around a lake and there is an evil boat that is trying to eat you and you got to stay away from it. Uh, it is, it's got a free demo. It is a VR game as well. And it's done on Linux or, or it's available on Linux, done on the Godot engine. So for those two of you who own uh, those two Linux users who own uh, an index, <laughs> or maybe the four of you who own a Vive, maybe, maybe check this out. I, I think this is a neat idea for a game. I liked kayaking as a kid. So a game where you get to like kayak around and try to not get eaten by horrible monsters seems like it could be a good old time. Yeah, it's it. I, I still wanted to play Choo Choo Charles, which is very much the same genre, except that one was with trains. And here you're, you know, you're a little kayak and you're avoiding the bigger riverboat. But I do like the whole you have to explore, but there's that big thing that you can't really get rid of until the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not that even imminent then. threat, right? Yes, it is like it's just right around the corner. And if I do stop, it will come and get me. Uh, this is this is fascinating when I see something like this because my first thought was like, "Where's Nightboat?" <laughs> There, there's a deep cut and like hopefully that's like dlc there, there, or like a konami code there, that there, i can there, punch there, in there's always an inlet <laughs> yeah right mm -hmm. but yeah. through the lens of if i if i put a toaster on my head and playing something like this this would be like get wrecked i'm not going to do this to myself just like looking at the video like that would be discerning that even no matter how poorly or well it's done i'm like in a kayak and big murder yachts trying to let me down like after saying that though is if I just played this with PC mouse and like it, I don't think it would hit the same, but it is open source. Yeah. So like all That's the true. game codes there, it's good. Oh, go play with it, go poke at it. It might be a good experience. A reason I wanted to bring it up because it's got the VR bits in there and it's done in Godo. It's VR and Godo, man. Like people are playing around with this stuff and it's always good progress to see. And uh, I, I'm glad that you can get it free demo. Go download it, play it. If you got a VR headset and you're on Linux, like give me a comment. Let me know down there. Send, yes, send us some hate mail. Yeah. We, we, we really mm -hmm. want to hear from you. That's, and, and you play this. And like, let me know what you think about it, man. Like, do you, did, do, did you poop yourself? Do you finally <laughs> get an excuse to break out your uh, Wii with the Wii paddle? I'm just going to assume that exists. It probably does. <laughs> uh, or just take it's a Nintendo Labo the... thing. <laughs> well, here's what I'm thinking about. Take that. the I'm, controller I'm, to I'm it. thinking of like the two-sided lightsaber, but you put the Wii chuck. In the right, other no, one, uh, and one on the other mm -hmm. end, yeah. See, see, the, the the problem with that is immediately you set up that controller for this game, and then you start going, and you start right. trying to fight the <laughs> then, boat. Then you the, start the, breaking the stuff in the house yeah. and remember yeah, ex exactly. why you put it up in the first place. Yes. Yeah. Ex exactly. <laughs>
you ever see that comic with um it's like the big um, ginormous dragon sitting on its horde and the crow flies up and he's like why do you have all this gold and uh the dragon's like shiny Shiny. yeah yeah, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. exactly i mean i mean birds are lizards right uh and sometimes sometimes they have knives and guns uh, yeah, so just crow things is available now. Um, it is a game in which you are trying to help little animals uh, by injecting chaos as a cute little bird. Um, yeah, they. Uh, I, I this uh, this it's a uh, kind of a kind of an untitled goose game uh, vibe. I, w- I wonder if goose like is going to become a genre now. Uh, but it's, it's, it's goat stimulator. That that's the one that kind of originated that whole. Yeah, let's just random animal and uh, Go- mayhem. Goats aren't birds, Pedro. Goats aren't <laughs> birds. They don't fly. Uh, they, they can they, be. If you throw them they, hard They don't enough. fly. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. They, 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 they gotta have wings and they gotta fry up good. Um, but yeah, uh, the system requirements, they are a little lazy. They would strongly prefer that you have a sound card for this experience. Not uh, required. Yeah, not, not required. Just, just preferred. It's uh, $17.99. Uh, US, it's 10% off right now uh, because it's out. Mostly positive reviews. And yeah, if you just want a little chaos thing where you're a little bird with a gun, fuck yeah. Well, I just like that it runs on Fedora Linux, uh, Arch Linux, and Mint, then Arch Linux. They they really (laughs) like Arch. Uh, We we, 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 we double check. Well, no, because, you know, if you you test it on Arch today and then you run a Pac-Man upgrade... It's yeah. not the same system tomorrow, so you, they, they tested it twice That's just fair. to make sure on two different days. <laughs> I want to give them credit, though, because like within the first, first 15 seconds of that trailer, there's a crow with a baseball bat in its beak, like, braining yep. things. And I'm like, okay, you have my attention with that. Um, but yeah, to what Pedro said, it's maybe a slightly more structured goat simulator. This appears to have, like, laid out goals other than... You know, with goat simulators, like I'm gonna make my own fun. Hey, uh, the yeah, goat like, MMO simulator had mm-hmm. quests and everything. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all right. Go- Goose game had like objectives that like they wanted you to actually do stuff. So like, yeah. The- One game update this week that definitely had objectives. Get off my lawn. Uh, I have fond memories of this. I had the We're box going of down. that. Yeah, <laughs> three. I mean, six degrees of freedom. I was selling the game short, man. Three, three degrees you can go Just up three, down, up, down, down diagonal. <laughs> up down Left, and tuesday right, that's and the only, only ways you can go <laughs> descent three we talked about this like the original code was like put out like oh this is the og version and they've been working on it and they finally get an official release this is the first release of the community port of descent three now this is not the yolo fancy version nay not even a little bit but they got some things cooked up for it in the change log that i like everybody got sdl2 now so it doesn't matter if you're in a mac windows or uh, one of those hacker Linux boxes. Like who? Mm-hmm. They've done some work for IPX not working, TCP IP, so multiplayer may or may not work. And this is just straight classic Descent 3. Again, you load it up, you're looking for 16 by 9 resolutions, not around, doesn't exist. What really caught my... Mm, I loved it. It made me think about it. I was talking about it during our Trackmania last night. Input options. One of the first screens that you're given keyboard mouse these are separate options by the way mm-hmm. never to mm-hmm. yep. meet <laughs> flight stick and i'm like do they make a game port to usb adapter turns out they do yeah now the other part of that is can i find my sidewinder because i bought a sidewinder for like 99p <laughs> I want to see if we can get that working because I always wanted to play. I, I didn't have a sidewinder that I might have. I don't remember. Anyway, this is old school. It's OpenGL. Uh, there is some pull requests to like update the render to something more modern, but I definitely think it is going to be going for the. Um, this was just the original experience on a modern PC. If you want to go play the fancy ones, there's other descent ports that have uh, made it look a little bit better, but. Yeah, this is old school, man. Four by three. As you know, we might get some people in. Maybe set up a server eventually. Once I get that sidewinder working, and I can wreck you, scrubs. <laughs> you know, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's got it's got to be a sidewinder only server, though. You're only allowed to play <laughs> if you're on a joystick. <laughs> maybe Steam controllers. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 no this fair, fair. uh the version one five zero. We get to play uh, with our toes. Yeah, <laughs> got to play with your nose. 
ooh, put a camera and uh, have the toes rub the areolas. Someone will get off to that. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if Jordan is... brings over the spaghetti, they will. Yeah. No, no, no. L- listen, you got to use the rigatoni for feet. Spaghetti is just for GPUs. <laughs> Doesn't matter as long as it has cheese. Uh, but the... unfortunately, it is, is like piping hot spaghetti, and it's like third degree burns on the feet. Mom, it's mom spaghetti. Arms are sweaty. Knees weak. Dude, yeah, this specific patch is uh, they never released um, the what back when the game came out version one point five never got released. They never finished that patch, so this is their effort to sort of do that, uh, and it's based on the um, open source release from April earlier in the year. There's no, uh, for this particular build, there's no 32-bit support. If you want to play this on an old uh, system, you either play the original game or you can find the original uh, rebuild. There's uh, video game preservation on GitHub. You mean I can't play this on my original Jid1 Apple TV? You can was there, try. Was, was there an Apple port? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just got an uh, Intel 32-bit CPU. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so then, no, you, you, you can, can absolutely no. try. I mean, it'll probably work. It, this no, it's 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 thirty two bit. So no, yeah. come on. <laughs> not 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 with this well, one. Not least. this one. Uh, I don't know. You Did can you find the Pedro original, said? yeah, Pedro the did? original yeah. source rebuild uh, on GitHub. Uh, you can just get that and build that instead. There's a CMake lists file, so it sort of kind of builds. <laughs> it's kind of mesmerizing when I go back and think about the original Descent Three because I remember uh, like I had a you know, four by three, 13 inch monitor, which meant it was like an inch viewable because back in the day, children, we measured monitor viewable by plastic to plastic. Remember those <laughs> bezels, man? Shocky. Yes. So, uh, but I remember loading that up. It didn't have a, uh, I didn't have 3d effects or anything at the time. It just ran on software render. It was amazing, man. Like what they were able to pull off, like we have one core, one thread out of Pentium 75. So like I was tempted, I like moved the ship back and forth a little bit, and was, it had some cracked out controls because this was a different time. We we hadn't figured this stuff out yet, you know. It was something like you know, E and Control F three to move forward and backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, F two and F three to uh, reduce and increase thrust, something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we can get the thrust thumper in it and uh, works of it or Steam controller, which seems like a brilliant idea for that game. Uh, Maybe we can get a throttle stick for the next team controller. We, we, we need to be able to plug it in. We need to be able to dock your deck into like the full racing rig <laughs> and then use it as a steering wheel. Yes. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for the games. Let's get into a little bit of news because, uh, well, the war. It's not even a war. It's just the race to the bottom. There's, there it's, was it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a slap fight. There was, a, there was an ongoing slap fight for every company making that not steam deck we have steam deck at home big we have steam deck at home you know your yes, asus your msis home. like all of these other companies that have the windows windexes out there they're like we need people to buy it how do we do that well a traditional method of going about that is reducing the price and that's kind of what we're seeing right now that race to the bottom legion go and ally x are having that like i can be cheaper and like no i can be cheaper Neither of them are really that great of a deal when it comes to compatibility and when you can get away with compared to just like a Steam Deck, you know, an OLED Steam Deck. But earlier this week, uh, people got really excited, Pedro. Uh, what if the price has gone down to five ninety nine? Like this week, if you were like one of the Best Buy member things, you get a hundred bucks off, like five ninety nine. For really, that's not bad for the hardware these things are packing. Nobody's really questioning these devices being technically faster than the steam deck it's just that oh, they're yeah. running <laughs> the, windows the, the, the software is is is, is the yep. problem yeah <laughs> the legion go I, this so week happy. for 511 dollars, and these things like were 700 dollars yeah. a couple yeah. months ago i am genuinely happy that at this point in time like the handheld console uh portable pc war is oh yeah no the software on the linux based <laughs> console is so much better Dude, than the Windows ones. So, but yes, here, I want this stuff finally. to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. They're sitting there going, we got to ship these things. We got to get them out of the warehouse. They're chomping at the bits. And I could see somebody picking one of these up because, Pedro, 
as you're going to tell everybody, Steam OS has been confirmed for the ROG Ally. <laughs> You've heard it here first, folks. <sighs> Guarantee. So well, we talked on. about I need, this I need to last... do my Steve headache face. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this last week. Yeah. The, um, the, the release notes for the new um, Steam OS beta yeah. in the input section, uh, it mentioned that it now supported the uh, ROG Ally, uh, yeah, the ROG Ally um, buttons, like the extra buttons that the ROG Ally has. Those were now mappable in Steam input, mm -hmm. which I specifically said on the show last week. Yeah, that's, you know, not news because Steam also works on Windows. Yep. And Valve from uh, at least since the Steam Deck itself has been released, they have said that, yes, they want Steam OS once it's widely available for people to well, use it in their own not, systems. Not only that. For whatever. These Windows, these Windows handhelds need to launch Steam to play a bunch of the freaking video games anyway, so they have to work in Steam input anyways. I yeah, just thought it was really particularly depressing that, like, The Verge was very clear with their wording, strangely enough, on this, mm -hmm. reporting on it, and they quoted Yang. Like, once you read the quote, it was a clickbait title that Yang's like, yeah, we're, we want the same thing they've been saying since the original Steam Deck launch, just... yeah. We plan on really, but there's no time frame or any updates or anything. We're just repeating what we've already said, which so many news outlets like IG and, and like other places, just Ars headlines. Technica. Yeah, confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. Like if you just read headlines, you might have went out and bought one of these going, all right, where do I go download SteamOS? I mean, it was that blatant. Just, I mean... We tried to Pedro pointed that out last week too. It's just it, buttons. It, it's literally just the in, it's in the input section. What you're saying, Pedro, is we have a confirmation that <laughs> SteamOS is coming to the Switch, though, right? Oh yeah, no, uh, they totally missed that boat because uh, I don't remember when was this uh, June thirteenth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, this this was this June was a few 13th, months ago. Yeah, twenty twenty four. They released uh, a, a little. Just a teeny tiny little uh, Steam Deck update to fix input when using the Nintendo Joy-Con controllers. What are the Nintendo Joy-Con controllers used on? The Switch. So, Valve have confirmed that SteamOS will come to the Switch officially. You fucking idiots. They're no, it's, idiots it's, it's, it's obviously going to be Playtron, Pedro. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be... You're going to need uh, four Nintendo Switch controllers, dude. No, but, but it, like... To, to, uh, I mean, to, to everyone else's point, yeah, it, uh, the, the, the proliferation of these devices, they're just getting cheaper and it's going to get them at least hopefully it will move them into the secondary market so that people can get them for even cheaper and start improving the community support because that, that's really what's going to keep these devices alive until SteamOS gets released. Right? And that's just the thing. But uh, yeah, to that point, like the state of what passes for games journalism has devolved to where three Yahoo is on a being Linux podcast get shit right. I, I was genuinely, I, the whole week, I was just scrolling I by was just the, shaking the a news. fist the entire time, because I'm like, that's not what they said. Like, why, why are you guys deliberately misreporting this? And I know why, because you want the clicks, and you want the ad yes. revenue, and you will just <laughs> fabricate stuff to get people there. And once you do it, and if you get called out on it, what do you do? The next day, two days later, oh, we've made an update or a correction. <laughs> no, no, the Linux community is being toxic again. <laughs> bitch we are the linux community <laughs> uh, you're stuck thing. with <laughs> us nobody else showed up so you might as well get in the boat come on let's yeah. go <laughs> pedro no, do you we, have we, we, a, we got um, a twister to ride <laughs> rgb headset pedro mateus i do not have an rgb headset you i have this do not one, own which one. Is beige. i thought at one point you had one that blinked it, 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 that was just blue, yeah. That was, that it was blinked just with activity, set. but it was just B. Yeah, just it was just B. blue. <laughs> Would you consider buying one of these for 70 bucks? That's cheap. That's genuinely cheaper than I thought they would be. They're actually cheaper than the ones I'm wearing right now. Oh. So, uh, uh, no, normally 110 US. So, like, mm, yeah, not... 110 is, uh, well, it was 100 ish pounds uh, that I bought uh, these for. So, yeah, no, these are genuinely cheaper than I thought, but we're bringing it up because the Corsair Void, uh, the entire lineup, uh, has a bunch of very 
specific software requirements in order to engage some of the things that it has built in, like uh, the uh, automatic alerts, battery, um, the battery reporting. Uh, it it actually works with uh, once you have loaded these uh, particular uh, particular kernel patches, uh, you'll have access to battery reporting, side tone, um, physical microphone location reporting because. That's one of the things those headsets do. Uh, like it adjusts automatically adjusts the voice profile and the volume based on how far out the microphone is, how uh, like the position that it is in, and how far sticking out it is. It's clever enough like that, uh, and it has built that's a nice looking cord. E- what's it, what's it? Is that like the wireless receiver? I yeah, guess that's the wireless receiver. Yeah. Oh, it's USB C. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I look forward for to working quickly. The, 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 uh, one, one of the features apparently is that it does support the seamless like uh, plug uh, transition from wired to wireless as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's that's a neat little feature. It there's a lot of software specific stuff that this entire I think it came out originally in 2015. This line of headsets mm-hmm. uh, and it's yeah no they support a lot of software a, a lot of stuff in software which up to now just didn't work at all on linux so uh mr stuart hayhurst uh has uh brought some patches some big patches and he's like okay there's big comments uh on the uh this, this really section. starts out like a lot of projects like i didn't plan on going this far with us but here we are hi <laughs> yeah uh, it's like big uh chunk of um i i i, 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 I like the top how... of the thing it's like if that's not okay i'll remove them uh, just the follow-up emails for that are hilarious because i'm just like how are the people responding to this and they're just like yeah your format's wrong fix this fix this fix this yeah. he's like <laughs> and the, the media follow-up is like god damn it i thought i had the format right <laughs> you get all right i mean you're submitting to the court you, you knew yeah. you were gonna like life by a thousand cuts on that but let's just take a moment and take a shot for just all this sh- that just works with linux when you plug it in yeah, yeah. You plug these headphones into Windows, what's going to happen? You're going to sit and wait. It's going to do the thing. You might get a surprise reboot. Who knows? Maybe you uh, have to enable. If you just enable. plug them in, it, you'll get audio. The audio bits will work. <laughs> if I plug <laughs> these in, I'll be asking questions. Well, I need an adapter. Mine are just, my headphones are dumb. I don't like crap in my headphones. <laughs> Pretty basic, man. I have no, no I, blank. I, I like spaghetti in mine. What were we talking I, about like, earlier? Uh, the there's a secret ad, admin. Ah, uh, yes, yes the, the, the hidden admin account in Windows. The yeah, local, the local one. administrator account on Windows that usually is disabled by. I learned something. I just assumed <laughs> everybody running Windows was still raw dogging it. <laughs> no, that ha- that ha- that hasn't been the case since like Vista. I want to say. XP. XP XP was the first uh, one to have. Did they the, make uh, it like admin account? More I think difficult to like. I guess in Windows 11, they've made it uh, difficult to get to that, which is good. Good. good I, I mean, yeah, there, 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 there's a reason like sudo is disabled by default in most Linux distributions. You got to like add yourself to the group and like uncomment that. Maybe we both run Debian. <laughs> yeah, there, I, yeah. And you, you can. Oh, no, you're, there, ta- oh, you're talking about being able to sudo as a user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm just like regular sudo, sudo as a user without using a password. That's All what right. the yeah, yeah, administrator yeah, that, that, account sorry, does. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is what I am talking about. Because I, I know some people are going to be like, but I run Ubuntu. And I'm like, you, yeah, you do. That's why you're not allowed to just go into YOLO yeah. mode. Okay. You're, you're, you're not, you're, you you got you to gotta, you gotta do the special thing to enable the root account. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Game launchers. Heroic. Uh, we get to talk about something that. Uh, mm, yeah. It's not Lutris, but it's almost as good. Um, wow, yeah, they have you're, you're reading right off the page. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that, that that's that's their entire project logo. It's not Lutris, but it's just as good. Um, yeah, this is uh, the latest uh, heroic release, two point five mf. It's Hebrew for truth, I guess. It's probably an anime character reference because someone from Japan read the Torah at one point. Anyways, I digress. There are a couple new uh, things in this release, including uh, they added support to add EA games from the Epic Game Store because now they have the uh, EA Play integration in there as well. You can download your Amazon games. Uh, I like can... how I just immediately start being judgy about what games the person's yeah. playing on the screenshot. I'm like, mm, oh, that one's all right. That one's Troy. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah. Alan Wake 2. I'd hang out with this person. 
Yeah. yeah. They, they, they have decent taste in games. Um, they are adding Umu support. Uh, that is the unified uh, wine launcher that uh, Glorious Egg Roll is working on. It is not on by default, though. They are waiting until Umu hits 1.0 before they make that on for prime time. But you can enable it if you want. You can manage your native Linux game DLC, finally. And yeah, that's I think that's about it. Uh, I don't I don't really use heroic all that much there uh, just, just because I, I m most of my games I have in Lutris. But like, yeah, if you just want a very lightweight thing to get your GOG games and your uh, and your yeah, epic games uh, up and running. Yeah, your EA stuff, to too, man. Like yeah. you get all that stuff sitting there because a lot of people are coming over with a lot of the baggage that we just don't have because we've just been running Linux forever. And we're not that's not a humble brag. It's just reality. But, you know, you have that collection of stuff and you are, you know, or you're just not going to bring it over one way or the other and hey man this has like whatever the hell the disc discord rich present thing is and like now how much would you pay i still don't know what that is but it, it, it's it's the thing that tattles on you in discord and it says like yes. oh you're in x level of the oh, game oh so, right. so so if you're really struggling people can see that you've been in this one fucking section for nine hours <laughs> you've like, been on that level or uh replaying that section for Several hours now. No. What's going se se on? Se several days now. One Are you okay? Do you need help? We need to focus on is, you know, I posted this in our super secret Discord. If you're a patron or a Twitch member, you should go ahead and link up. Come hang out with us. I posted this a couple of days ago, and like straight is like, Lutris has had that for 30 years. And I'm like, cool. But <laughs> Heroic does too. Yeah. And it's good to have options. That's going to make things a lot more simple. Like, one of the reasons. You don't see me messing around with Heroic or Lutris or whatever. Like, I have respect for all of them, and I, you know, understand the need and why people need them is because, you know, 14 years ago, one of the first videos I made was this big drawn-out thing about how to get Skyrim up and running on Linux. And it was a slog, man, even back then. And I used to kind of enjoy I don't have time for that anymore. Like, I don't find joy in that anymore. I am spoiled. I have become lazy. I will click a play button. I might change a Proton version. And if I'm desperate and I really want to play and I'm outside the refund window because I forgot I bought the damn game, um, <laughs> I might put in some stuff in the launch options. And that, am I right? What, why, do, okay, first off, let's just go ahead and stop right now. Why didn't they call it Uwu? As much as I would have yeah. hate, hated that, I would have been able to remember it. There, I want to know for a fact that there was a meeting and they just couldn't make it work. Look, when the I... meeting was basically Aggie, Strider, and a bunch of other people from our disc. <laughs> Universal. <laughs> yeah. Windows. Aggie, Strider, Zeebs, and a giant bong. And the bong yeah. said that, the, the bong spoke to, to Thomas and said, you're going to call it Umu. And he's like, I must have. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, the original game was the U, uh, UWG. I L thought, I thought, U yeah, M yeah, something. <laughs> so it, it was the Universal uh, Windows Linux game launch or something. It was like, um, it was like you wiggled, and I thought, like, wiggle is a good name for it because, you know, you just wiggle it to get it working, right? You, you wiggle the cable, you wiggle it. Yeah. But no, they, they went with Umu. It's there, but it's going to be the thing, um, you know, what, it, what it's claiming on the tin eventually. It's, it's, it's a work in progress, but it's good work. It's being done. It's going to help benefit everybody is give you that proton like experience if I'm understanding things correctly. Hey, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, docking is an interface. <laughs> <laughs> dock, dock, docking in docking yes yeah, uh we, we we got some we got some hate mail from uh from george is we just the easiest way to leave us hate mail yeah. we got a contact button there's an email address there youtube comments going to be the quickest way from now on just to like make sure we see it get that but you want like a guaranteed like slide in in fact here's what i want you to do if you're a patron and you leave that post under there make a note but, like don't put this on the show if you don't want to put it because you're our bosses man and so i'm gonna be like all right that's that's getting in but demos we talked about yes. demos last well, yeah. week didn't we mm -hmm. yeah we, we we did and jorge has and some today. uh old, 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 old george has uh not not the tortoise old george that's very, very different old george uh this george uh says funny thing curators already get to have a third option a third review option informational you can put just about anything you want in there as for the demo situation, it was perfectly fine when demos were just writing prologue in their titles and releasing as regular ass game in that very same list. But now some of them are getting properly marked as a demo. Anything but that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, please. I beg you. So what you're telling me is Steam is just going to collapse. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the, this is the final this death time now. next year. They're going to be closing need, the door. To, Gabe's going to we, be. We need to, we need to move lock. everything over to Epic. Epic is the future. 
They're 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 saying now exclusives just weren't doing good. You know, like the free games Atrium, are doing like, great though. When you walk in and like it's got the big valve, and I just see Gabe there by himself and like closing nights playing in the background as he's well, cutting. All- <laughs> <laughs> he's just eating the sandwich. There's a bunch yeah. of cardboard boxes taped up everywhere. Right. Yeah. Oh man. Um. Yeah. It, it 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 makes yeah the we talked about the article last week about the dude that was complaining. Hey, there's too many demos in the new and upcoming or the trending list or whatever. How the dare you? There were like about. four, man. Like, I don't know. Like, there were two on mine. <laughs> so. Yeah, there were four on mine, which was on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And the um, George brings up a very good point. It, they, they weren't called demos. They didn't have the obvious little green thing down the side saying, this is a demo. No, they were called prologues. <laughs> and it was just covered in them. And that was fine, was it? Mm, yeah, that was better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think what we're oh, seeing yeah, yeah, right you, you, you now get is two, you get two shots to go in the, in the Steam rankings, right? People you get are. The first time, the other. We're all snapping back a little bit. Why? Because we're not used to seeing Valve do shit. <laughs> we're not like when they started updating their website. You know what? Five years ago, we're like, what? This is getting weird, man. But when Valve makes a move, like this is a move in the right direction. This is something that should have been fixed ten years ago. Let's be honest. It is now. Like you, we should add an, they should add a clear thing for demos. Also, you shouldn't be advertising, you know, using your old game page as just your marketing front because, you know, the people aren't there to see your latest game. They're there for information on that game. So mixing that with how they got the demo system put together and with the new help page, what do you call it? Like requirements. Uh, the, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's a winning combination. And yes, again, like I said last week, just give me a tick box and we're done. Don't show demos, you know, because it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother 99% of the people, but there are going to be some screechies out there. They're like, this is unusable. Uh, <laughs> and they're going to throw their laptops out. And I hate e-waste. So Valve, stop people from throwing out their laptops. Give us that tech box so those give people to, can give comfortably. Give to Justin, please. We don't want them to get anxious. Now, that's going to wrap us up for tonight. Uh, did we give FX Boy, I think he... Uh, Want to give him a mention? Why? Because FX Boy Forever went over. Oh yeah, go uh, check out. I, I talked to old uh, Turbo Tree Sloth last yes. week uh, <laughs> about his new project. He's locally hosted AI that will teach you how to talk gutter or help you out. Go check out. Interviewed him. That was kind of fun. Uh, I want you to smash on that support button like FX Boy did. Head over to Patreon where you can sign up. We got a bunch of different tier levels all different type of rewards and you get your name in the credits, which is just a small thank you, but I'm going to give you a hard time here on the show. Like I am right now. Thank you very much. Ah, how hard of a time that was. Uh, we got so difficult. Yeah. Access to our show notes, pre, pre super shows. And you know, get all of that with give away way too much low, low price act now. Nine ninety nine. Uh, we do appreciate your support making the show possible. And we don't want uh, to do clickbait how about that. You know what? Now, now I'm really tempted to do some clickbait. Uh, oh no! no, no. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you, 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 that, it, ha- it has to be clickbait thumbnail, and then the the, the stinger is we don't do clickbait. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with like the red arrows. Yeah, please. right. <laughs> yeah, no, just all, all the red arrows, all the circles. <laughs> there we go, dude. Like, uh, I need to do some non-ironic red arrow. Anytime you see a red arrow in a thumbnail, if you read the text on it, it it says like red arrow for no purpose. It, it reminds me. It reminds me of that one Reddit post. Where the guy's like, I've been staring at this thing for five minutes until I realized I was a fucking idiot. And it was a window, and there was like a word written on there, and it was the letter O. And he was looking through the fucking, the fucking thing because he's like, oh, this, this is clearly a circle. <laughs> it's like, what are you, what are you showing me? What's there? <laughs> but it's like, oh, it's li- literally just the letter O. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on that bombshell, we're gonna cue the music. You can always find us. Uh, come, come check us out live. I know the most of you just listen to the show, which is great. But if you want that audio visual experiment. Yeah, it is an experiment. It's not an experience. It's just straight experiment right here on Twitch. Uh, you know how to find us. Yeah, twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast, 8 p.m., 30 minutes early for the pre pre super shows. And uh, if you want to come hop in our super secret Discord and give that a listen, get in touch with me. I'm Vin Stone on X. Uh, and I'm Vin over on our federated timeline, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I think that's about it. Yeah. I'm lucky, Mr. Casino, man. I'm pulling that crank and I'm winning all the money. And you can watch me pull my crank on uh, 
Twitter, uh, The Burning <laughs> Fool, or uh, Matt, I'm at Frojo at MassLinuxGameCast.com, or at Frojo at BSky.app. Hey! <laughs> and uh, no, no matter how much I crank, I will never pull anything better than that out of my ass. Uh, you can find me on Mastodon. It's unaccounted for at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Just follow me there. If you post interesting things, shit posts, I'll follow you back. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the credits. Look for your name, CPC. Ah. <laughs> Confirmed. Here, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> Wait, the platform security... Uh, Yes, yeah, it's they, running they, inside AMD Pro. Yes, AMD. It, it <laughs> Minix. We got we got to thank our advisors. Uh, uh, hey, what the fuck happened here? What, what's going uh, on? I don't know. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, there, oh, there, 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 Chad, Romeo, ah, Steve and Jill, <laughs> Simcha, Steve and ha. Steve. We got three Steves, dude. Double Steve. We got, yeah, we, we got too many Steves. They got to fight to the death now in the Steve pit. And as always, uh, yeah, we got Libra Bay. We got Amazon wish list. Go buy these Yahoo something off their wish list. Send them a present. Send them a note. I'll make them read it here on the show, no matter how embarrassing it is. Smoochy boochies. Dynafire, everyone. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>